Today on Motors, Chris's F-150 gets a new wrap, paint restoration, ceramic coating, and more. Then Alan test drives the latest 2017 Ford F-150 and the wild new Ford Focus RS. So buckle up and hold on tight, because Motors starts now. Hey, welcome to the 94th episode of Motors, as well as the season seven finale. Now this season we upgraded our 2014 Jeep Wrangler and gave new life to a 2000 Ford Ranger. Now to wrap the season up, I thought it was a good time to give the original Motors project truck a refresh, a 2005 F-150. Now both the paint and the wrap were deteriorating badly, so in this episode both get fixed. First I take the truck to Ape Wraps for a design and color change up to the wrap, then I head over to RestoreFX San Diego, where not only did they restore the paint in minutes, but also gave it a new two year long ceramic coating finish, which means I don't have to wax my truck for two full years. Finally, the truck gets some new tires from Cooper Tire, new wheels from Hostile Wheels, and more. But let's start with a really cool new wrap and see what's changed in the wrap industry since the last time that we did this. A little over five years ago, I had my daily driver, a 2005 Ford F-150 that also happens to be the original Motors Project vehicle wrapped by Ape Wraps located here in San Diego. The design was red, big, and bold with the Motors TV logo along with Craftsman Tools and their logo. The previous red wrap was expected to last four years and that's about how long it lasted until I started noticing a color change on the side that was always facing the sun. I knew it was time to change the wrap so I went back to Troy, but this time I wanted something completely different. Troy came up with a new design based on some information that I gave him which was primarily a request to go from red to blue, downplay the huge logos and make it more about the design than a rolling billboard for the TV show. I absolutely loved what he came up with. So back to Oki Data in Escondido, California we went. This is the home of the guys that make the color painter printer, the printer that prints the high resolution wraps. Now with this wrap, he used a heavier 2mm laminate, so it is expected to hold up even better than the previous wrap, which actually did better than I thought considering the harsh San Diego sun. I asked Troy what's changed in the industry in the past 4 to 5 years. Because of so many more people in the industry now, the cost of a wrap is maybe 60% the cost of what it was 4 to 5 years ago. So what was three to $5,000 is more like 2,500. That's great news for enthusiasts that want to dream up any design of their vehicle that they want and have the instant gratification that a custom paint job just won't give them. Technologies, materials, and colors have also improved during the same amount of time. The Color Painter printer now has the widest color gamut in the industry and they also are now eco-solvent across their entire line. This means less stinky paint fumes and improved ink penetration. Not only that, they print twice the speed, if not more, than before. And because of all these advancements, the turnaround time for a new wrap has also improved. Now you're looking at like three to four days to get to that installation point once the design has been finalized. The design, however, can also be the most time consuming part of getting a wrap depending on how detailed you want it to be. It can also end up driving costs way up. For my wrap, I gave Troy some loose design requirements and just let him go crazy. That helped expedite things for my new wrap, but to help him out even more, I loosened all of the door handles and prepped the paint before handing my truck over to Troy and his son Tommy for this installation. Now all these things sped up the timeline tremendously, but aren't required. I had the tools and know-how and didn't mind helping out. For more information on vehicle wraps, be sure to check out the first wrap episode of Motors TV, which is Season 5, Episode 6. I sat down and interviewed Troy after he wrapped the vehicle red. Just go to the motors.tv website and you'll find it under season five episodes. When you're ready for your vehicle wrap, get a hold of Ape Wraps. They're located here in San Diego, but don't let that stop you if you're not. 
They have a vast installer network throughout the U.S. and even internationally and can hook you up. Their website is apewraps.com or you can email them at info at apewraps.com. We have had all of our Motors Project vehicles wrapped by them and I cannot say enough about the quality of their wraps, not to mention their knowledgeable and friendly staff. I guess you can say now, it's a wrap. A few weeks after I got the new wrap, I took my truck to Restore FX, a professional detailing shop here in San Diego. They do paint restoration and something fairly new that I hadn't heard of before called ceramic coating. Due to the age of my truck, about 12 years, and the fact that it sits outside in the hot sun all day, the paint got pretty bad as you can see here. It's pretty much dull paint on the hood now and I thought I'd have to get a new paint job. Now here are some close-up shots of the paint. The clear coat looks beyond repair. To show you how drastic the damage is after all these years, we tweak the contrast a bit. Just look how badly damaged the paint is. Here's another macro shot of the paint without any modifications and again with the contrast adjusted. Now is it possible to fix this type of damage? Well I'm happy to tell you that it is and I'm going to show you right now what these guys did to restore and protect my paint. They're going to do two things to the paint of my truck. The first is to restore the paint using a product called Restore FX. Later they will apply another product called Clear FX which is a ceramic coating, but more on that later. Here the guys are applying Restore FX which will bring my weathered paint back to life. It's a proprietary formula that is self-leveling and acts like a new clear coat that bonds to your existing clear coat. And like a new clear coat of paint, once it's hardened, it needs to be protected just like a traditional clear coat paint. The alternative to doing this is a multi-step process of cutting the clear coat with compounds then polishing back up. The problem with a clear coat like mine is that there isn't enough substrate to work with. The RestoreFX process does the opposite of what the traditional process does. It adds instead of removes. Not only that, but doing it the old school way, it can cost anywhere from $1,200 to $2,000 to do it right. Restore FX, on the other hand, is much quicker and less expensive, starting at $599 for a car on up to $699 for a truck, and it sure beats having to do a new paint job. Once the Restore FX product has been applied, it needs to stay indoors for 12 to 24 hours, the longer the better, and then 3 to 5 days before it can get wet. The guys sped up that process by using their own curing lights. The final step to the entire process, after it's been cured of course, is to clean the surface with isopropyl alcohol. I was completely blown away by the results. It honestly looked like they sprayed my truck with a fresh coat of Ford Oxford white paint. But even if your vehicle's paint is worse than mine, Restore FX can help. It's possible to remove 99% of scratches, swirls, scuffs, oxidation, weathering, sandblasting, rock chips, and fading. I couldn't believe how good the results were. Like any fresh clear coat, RestoreFX needs to be protected. In my case, that protection came in the form of ClearFX, a ceramic coating that is warranted for up to 24 months. That means no waxing for at least two years, and I'm on board with that. ClearFX is not a wax, sealant, or clear coat. It's like putting a hard shell that bonds to the surface of your vehicle. As you can see, the process of applying ClearFX is similar to RestoreFX, but the two products couldn't be any more different. They wipe it on, level it, and then buff off any residual product that remains. Unlike a wax, the residual will harden and become permanent. Once complete, it takes 24 to 48 hours to fully harden. They also advise me to wait at least 72 hours before it gets wet. Now, as I stated before, with this ceramic coating, I can go a full two years without having to wax my truck. That's great, but you're probably wondering about the price comparison. To have your vehicle professionally ceramic coated, it's going to cost about $500. Now compare that to what you should be doing to protect your paint, quarterly wash and wax jobs that can total $800 to $1,600 for two years. But also keep in mind that the wax isn't the same level of protection and the result isn't the same. I've never felt anything as smooth or seen paint protected quite like this. And if it gets a little dirty, grab a towel and some detail spray and you'll be blown away at how easy it is to keep clean. Now you can only get RestoreFX and ClearFX installed at a certified RestoreFX shop like the one here in San Diego. If you're not in San Diego, you can check RestoreFX.com to find your local dealer. It's called permanent automotive refinishing for good reason. You don't want to mess it up and these guys are well trained by the company. The quality of both the paint restoration and the ceramic coating are incredible. Now remember those close-up macro shots I showed you earlier? Here's what it looks like now. Now admittedly, it was difficult to film because the paint is now so smooth. Focusing was definitely a challenge, and just to be fair, we tweaked the contrast to show you how smooth it really is now on the hood. 
As a professional detail shop, they also recommended a product for restoring my black plastic. I've had such a hard time using other products to bring back the black and keep it that way. Now, since I was there, they used a product called Solution Finish to restore my door handles and other trim pieces. What I loved about this product is how easy it was to apply, and it didn't leave a greasy residue. It was ready to handle right away. What it does is it puts elements back into the plastic that were lost over time. So the more you use it, the longer the effects of the product will last. It's essentially rejuvenating the plastic. I was so impressed, I bought a bottle of it immediately. I forgot to mention that they ceramic coated both the white stock paint and the wrap, which should help extend the life of the wrap as well. Now, if you have any questions about the RestoreFX paint restoration process, the ClearFX ceramic coating process, or to pick up a bottle of that incredible solution finish, go to RestoreFXSanDiego.com. By the way, there's no E after the word restore, and be sure to tell them that Motors sent you. If it's your car, why not make it your interior? Transform the look, feel, and quality of your interior with cat skin leather, the world leader in custom automotive interiors. Visit catskin.com today to find out how easy and affordable it is to get a catskin premium leather interior for your vehicle. Catskin. Express. Transform. Drive. It's been a few years with the previous wheels and tires, so I decided it was time for an update. I turned to Cooper Tire and their new Discoverer STT Pro 35 inch tire, and to fill the void in the middle, this 20 inch alpha asphalt wheel from Hostile Wheels. For the ultimate all season tire, Cooper Tire's Discoverer STT Pro is the best of both worlds when it comes to amazing off-road traction without sacrificing traction when you get back on the road. It features Cooper's 3-ply Armor Tech 3, which is a silica tread compound construction for extra durability, side biters, alternating shoulder lugs to enhance traction in mud and soft surfaces, an advanced tread design which helps prevent stone retention and increases the life of the tire, a unique hybrid 3-2 tread pattern which reduces noise and increases stability, and mud release dimples which aid in keeping the tread pattern free of loose soil. Available in wheel diameters from 15 to 22 inches, this tire looks aggressive but rides smooth. Now if you're like me, selecting the right tire and wheel combination is quite a process. You want the wheel to match the truck and be something that you can live with for years to come. And that's why I went with Hostile Wheels Alpha Asphalt 20 inch 8 spoke wheel. It's designed for off-road pickup trucks and has that aggressive look that matches my F-150 perfectly. It features angular styling, wide lips, and the satin asphalt black paint matches the rest of the black on the truck. These are 20 by 10, but they're available from 20 by 9 all the way up to 24 by 14. The combination I chose looks awesome, and I couldn't wait to get them on my truck. So armed with the right tools, on they went. For more information on Hostile Wheels, head on over to HostileWheels.com and to learn more about the STT Pro from Cooper Tires or to learn more about their entire range of tires for your vehicles, check out CooperTire.com. Don't you just hate it when you open the door to your vehicle and see this? Yes, on both sides. I usually just reach in and correct the problem knowing that it'll come back to haunt me again later. But thankfully there's a fix for this from a company called Eagle Claw. This innovative solution uses a cap, washer, and anchor to secure down your mats. It comes in three different colors too. Now this is the secret to the claw, these mini grappling hooks for your carpet. They're pretty sharp and easy to install. Start by grabbing a hammer to determine the best place to install the claws. Your hammer should bounce where it's safe and make a thunk like this where it's not. Figure out where it's safe for both anchors. To use the provided hole cutter, measure approximately two inches in from both sides. Then use either a hammer and a wood block or twist the cutter by hand to cut the hole. Insert the cap on top, then slide the washer onto the bottom. If the rubber nibs of your mat get in the way, mow them down like I did. Then screw the anchor onto the cap. Make sure that it's fairly tight because the next step is to hammer them onto your carpet. After positioning your mat into place, strike it as vertically as possible. You can also use the heel of your shoe. However, I didn't want to mess around, so I just used my trusty Craftsman claw hammer. Now my first test was to remove the cap with a coin and give it a strong tug with my fingers. Well that worked just fine. Now my second test was to hop in and push it around with my shoes. That passed as well. So cool and so easy to install. 
For more information, go to eagleclaw.com. That's claw with a K and tell them I sent you. It's so much fun taking a 12-year-old Ford truck and making it look new again. Well, Alan actually has a brand new 2017 F-150 as well as the new Focus RS and he's going to tell us all about them. That's right, Chris. The legendary F-150 earned a 2017 Car and Driver 10 Best Trucks and SUVs award and with good reason. I'm driving Ford's Lariat Series F-150 Super Crew, the first step into Ford's luxury truck segment. Don't let the luxurious interior fool you. The Ford F-150 has the highest payload and towing rating in the half-ton truck segment with a maximum capacity of 12,200 pounds. Headlining the changes for 2017 is a new powertrain combo. Replacing the original twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 is a Gen 2 unit producing 375 horsepower and a whopping 470 foot-pounds of torque. That output is routed through a new 10-speed automatic transmission co-developed with General Motors. Sprinting to 60 miles an hour in just 5.7 seconds, it's one-tenth quicker than the previous F-150. Leather seats come standard, remote start, seat warmers, along with a slew of other features you'd expect from any luxury car. And if you want all-out luxury in your truck, then you can expect to shell out 60K plus for the F-150 Limited. The 8-inch productivity screen and 360-degree camera are standouts here, and it's loaded with safety features from rollover prevention software to trailer sway control to front and side airbags. No wonder it earned a 5-star safety rating. Its highs are that it's quick, nimble, luxurious, and strong enough to tow a 5-ton trailer. Its lows? Some argue that it doesn't sound much like a truck and costs more than a Mustang Shelby GT350. A 3.5-liter EcoBoost Super Crew 4x4 starts at $45,645, hours priced out as tested at about $59,600 MSRP. So I've driven a lot of cars, but this one is one that is just a little special. It's the Ford Focus RS, 350 horsepower out of a four-cylinder engine, all-wheel drive, and big Brembo brakes. Let's go take it for a ride. Ford engineers really got this car right. With 350 horsepower pumping out of a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, the Ford Focus RS is a high performance, aggressive rally fighter. You've heard the saying, this baby corners like it's on rails. Well, I have a little hideaway in Southern Oregon, right along the wild, the scenic Rogue River. And not only do these 19 inch tires stick like glue to the road through the twisties, but they also seem to handle some of the rough Oregon terrain with ease, allowing the ride to be smooth, yet completely exhilarating. Ford engineers also enhanced the aerodynamic design of the front grille, now in a slightly sinister black mesh. The rear diffuser and high-mounted rear spoiler enabled the car to maximize downforce while creating zero lift for optimum high-speed handling. Ford's performance all-wheel drive system intelligently distributes power both front and rear as well as left and right. Plus, it does so in four different driving modes, including a drift mode if you want to get sideways or a track mode if you have a need for speed. With power like this and roads like these, I like knowing I've got a set of Brembo brakes on the front to slow me down. And they're cooled via a special guidance system to help improve track performance too. The unique RS Sport exhaust and the sound it pumps out are beastly as you pedal through the gears, adding to the car's aggressive personality. I really like the feel of the cockpit too. The boost gauges are mounted up high with distinctive RS Blue highlight rings to monitor turbo boost, oil pressure, and oil temperature. The six-way adjustable high-performance Recaro seating really completes that race car feel. And, of course, it offers the Stay Connected technology to help you keep your life on track. With a starting price point of about 37 grand, the Ford Focus RS is sure to make someone an exhilarating investment. That is, if you can find one at that low price. Diamond Fire spark plugs are the most powerful spark plugs you can buy. They deliver a more complete fuel burn, more power, better economy, and reduced emissions. E3 Diamond Fire spark plugs at auto parts and lawn and garden stores everywhere. Winners brought to you by E3 spark plugs, born to burn. Wow, guys, I cannot believe this is the 94th episode of Motors TV and the end of its seventh season. 
Next year, 2018, will mark the eighth season, the 10th year, and the 100th episode of Motors. Six more episodes to go, and the big 100th episode will be here. Now, before I get to some viewer mail, I've got some social media business. If you're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or one of the others, add me. I'm on all of them. I'm Chris Duke TV, and I will respond. Be sure to add Motors, too. By the way, thanks to Summit Racing for this awesome Ford Mustang shop shirt. I love it. Now, Caleb writes in and he says, can I wrap a car if it has spots on the hood that are missing clear coat? Well, Caleb, that's a great question since in this episode, we feature the wrap of my F-150 by Troy Downey at Ape Wraps. Now I asked Troy that exact same question he asked me and here's what he said. Wrap film adhesion is only as good as the surface you put it on. Glossy OEM paint finish with a clear coat intact is considered a high energy surface and is optimum for a warrantable application by the wrap manufacturer. With that said, since your clear coat is failing, your surface most likely is not a candidate for a wrap. The best solution is to get a local wrap shop to take a look at it and advise you as to whether the clear coat could be sanded back to the point in order to develop a wrap ready surface. So there you go, Caleb, from the expert himself. Now Jack Griffiths writes in and he says, Hey Chris, I love all your episodes and the nice project cars you have on the show. I especially love the bloopers. Well, thank you very much, Jack. The bloopers that play during the credits have always been my favorite part of the show. They first appeared in the second episode of Motors, and while some episodes don't have many clips worthy of the outtake, so we roll something else, be sure to check them out at the end of this episode because I mess up a lot. You'd think after 94 episodes I've nailed down my performance, right? Nah. I'm still human and mess up all the time, sometimes more than I like. Now Sol wrote in and said, Chris, do you by any chance have a video of a teardown and rebuild of a 454 big block engine? By the way, I recently took delivery of a 1971 Corvette C3 454. Thanks to your instructional videos and products, it will be a cinch. Thanks for your time. Love from London. Well, thank you, Sol, for taking the time to write from London. I haven't done anything specific for the 454 that you've got in your vet, but I've had so much fun with the Chevy 350 small box series that we did a few years back that I can't wait to do it again. And that's a great suggestion for a new motors project vehicle. Well, a big thanks to Saul, Jack, and Caleb for sending in your letters. I love hearing from viewers, whether it's through the motors website or social media. So be sure to hit me up. And if I answer your question on the show, like these guys, you'll get free E3 spark plugs for your ride. Now to learn more about E3's Diamond Fire technologies or to see if they're available for your ride, just visit e3sparkplugs.com. Well folks, that's it for season seven of Motors. Now season eight is right around the corner and with that, some changes and new projects. But what I really want to hear is what you want to see in future episodes of the show. So please head on over to our website and let us know. And while you're there, check out all the information about all the products and services featured in this episode. I'll catch you next time and next season on Motors. Folks, that's it for season of seven. Season of seven. Now season eight is right around the corner with some new project. Check out all the product information on the episode page for this for this thing. But Alan, but Alan, but Alan, but Alan, twelve-year-old Ford truck and make it look teen F one fifty F one fifty. It's so much fun taking a breath. <laughs>